Portland International Airport is the scene of a shooting investigation right now after a man was hurt in an officer involved shooting early this morning. Elise Haas has been following this story since it broke. She is live at the airport right now with what we know so far. Elise. Yes, Ken and Jenny. So we just talked to Port of Portland Police for the latest update. And the biggest piece of information that we learned is it was actually the suspect's gun that went off this morning, not the police officer. So you can see here at the arrivals area, it's still blocked off. And it has actually been this way since 5 o'clock this morning. Can you head down? I'm not sure which direction he's running. He was at Carousel 8. Around 5 in the morning Friday, a Port of Portland police officer contacted a man at the baggage claim at Portland International Airport. During that interaction, police say the man showed a firearm. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Oh, he's got a gun. Got a gun. Got a gun. All units. An airport employee told Coin6 he witnessed a struggle start near baggage claim 8. Police dispatch audio chronicles how the situation escalated quickly. After police alerted dispatch that the man was armed, 20 seconds later, there was gunfire. Shot fire, shot fire. Shot fire, shot fire. During the struggle, a shot was fired by the involved suspect. The officer did not fire his firearm. Port of Portland officials confirmed the man was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The Port of Portland police officer suffered minor injuries, not from the gunshot. Investigators blocking the lower arrival lanes and police tape closing several baggage claim carousels too. As Portland police and other local agencies responded to help survey the situation. I mean, any officer that's not tied up on a call to come down here to this location. You have everybody. Airport employees were rattled as they found out about the shooting at work. Just hearing that happen at the airport and me not being here that long. It's kind of nerve wracking. After working in baggage claim for a month, Joe Farley says he knows the shooting could have been way worse. Well, there's a lot of people at the airport that comes in and out, so we just got to make sure everyone's safe. The investigation into the shooting continues. And police believe that they recovered what was the man's firearm. And even with this shooting investigation going on, the airport is still open and operational. Obviously, this part of the arrivals area is closed off to private cars. But if you look over this way, you can see that the shuttle buses, the Uber and Lyft and Rideshare and taxis are all open still. Uh, the only other thing that is closed again is those uh, carousels in there for baggage claim. But so far, things, I guess, have been going as well as they can considering the situation. So we'll continue to follow this shooting and we'll bring you the latest on air and online. But for now, reporting live at PDX, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.